Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at a feature today that's going to involve solid tools. So this will be a pro only skill builder. What I'm going to do with solid tools is take this profile of a end table. You can see I have some curves in here, a bunch of details, and this is in a group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by opening the group and I'm going to use push pull to extend this out doesn't really matter the exact length. I'm going to close out of the group. I'm going to select the group and use my rotate tool to make a copy. I'm going to use the center point. So I'm going to use the center point of one end. I'm going to come down center point of the side to find the middle of the uh, extrusion. And I'm just going to rotate that 90 degrees holding the modifier key to make a copy. All right, so now I have two copies intersecting each other. What I'm going to do now is go to my solid tools and choose intersect. I'm going to pick one of the two sections, then the other, and watch what happens. With that, I have a nice, fancy, detailed end table with just a couple of clicks using solid tools. I can clean this up now by opening it, select all, and using soft and smooth to get rid of a couple extra lines, but that's really all it takes create a coffee table using solid tools and intersect. Thank you. Psst. Hey make users. Did you know that you can do the same thing that was just done with intersect inside of make? If you select the geometry and explode it, you can use intersect with selected to break the surfaces where they meet other surfaces. Then, all that's left is a manual process of going back and deleting the extra geometry to end up with the same end table geometry that was created in Pro using solid tools.